So the rumors are confirmed that the Sony PlayStation 4 Neo is a thing. Uh, Sony hasn't confirmed them themselves, confirmed the console themselves, but sources well known with the matter have said that it is real and it's happening and it's happening soon and that the PlayStation 4 will have a new version uh, that has a graphics compute power that's twice as much as the current console. It's going to have an overclocked CPU and a faster RAM as well. So we finally have for the first time I think is in known history a video game generation that has an updated version of the same generation video game console with, but, with, but with more graphics horsepower. This is an un unprecedented move and this begs the question is Microsoft X Microsoft's Xbox doomed? And I think if Microsoft doesn't do anything, yes, it is doomed or it will be doomed if Sony does come out with the PlayStation 4 Neo and which you know, with sources saying that it will Microsoft is going to be left to the dust if Microsoft doesn't come out or anything soon you're gonna have a choice I mean new customers are gonna have a choice do you buy the PlayStation 4 Neo which is just fifty dollars or more or hundred dollars more expensive than the normal PlayStation or do you buy the next box one <coughs> Hardcore gamers or people who really want performance are going to choose PlayStation 4. So, so already PlayStation 4 is beating the Xbox One. Uh, it, it's already a little bit more performant than the Xbox One, but it's not noticeable. But perception matters, and people believe or people it's percep perceived that the PlayStation 4 is more powerful than the Xbox One. We're talking about the current generation PlayStation 4, the non-Neo PlayStation 4. Uh, so if we have a more expensive PlayStation 4, or a more advanced PlayStation 4, uh, so we have people who are already buying, uh, leaning towards PlayStation 4, now if they want to, now they have an option to have a higher graphic, gra more graphically advanced PlayStation 4, uh, why would they buy an Xbox One? They wouldn't, right? Uh, because they would either choose a PlayStation 4 Neo or they'll choose a regular PlayStation 4 knowing that even that is more powerful so with uh, they have an option now with Sony's PlayStation 4 having two variant uh, powers so uh, so what does Microsoft do if they do don't do anything they're doomed I mean why would you buy an Xbox one now um, I mean why would you uh, wi be willing to go to a lower part console uh, now that uh, Sony has a better console now basically um, you could say exclusives but um, <coughs> yes there, there's but there's exclusives on the ex uh, Sony platform too I'm not saying that Microsoft won't sell any consoles I'm, all I'm saying is that the 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 rate at which Microsoft is selling consoles consoles will actually go down compared to what it is now already Sony is beating Microsoft uh, two to one so with uh, PlayStation 4 Neo, I'm not going to be surprised if Sony starts selling four times as much or three times as much consoles as the Xbox One. And Microsoft needs a solution. Microsoft needs to do something. I'm not saying I I don't know if it's a good thing that uh, the console is being upgraded in mid-cycle. But all all I know is if Microsoft doesn't do anything, if Microsoft doesn't respond with a powerful Xbox One, they are doomed. They have nowhere to go, and I, I think they're already struggling. And I don't want to see the Xbox One fail. But um, if this go, if they don't do anything, they are sure to fail. Let me know what you think. Let me do you do you, do you agree or do you disagree? I'm, I don't know. It's very interesting, and I'll, I'll love to see what happens. But uh, yeah, so, so let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you disagree, let me know that too. I, and like the video, share the video, and subscribe. So I appreciate that. So thank you so much. Have a good one, guys.